Oh, I'm boo. Oh, these are so cute. I wanted the nap, the nap didn't want me. Hey y'all, we just left the gym. I feel good, I'm glad I went, but my body is hurting. <laughs> oh, why in the world did I choose for my split to be all high intensity workouts? And the crazy part is they're all listed as low intensity workouts and they all are low intensity. Oh, <laughs> I took a ballet class yesterday. Painful. I took strength uh, strength classes day before yesterday and today. And I took a flow class, which I thought was supposed to be like zen, yoga, peace. No, the yoga class. Oh, oh, she was on my, oh, she was on me. Anyway, now we're headed home. I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick, let y'all know how um, class went. Hey y'all, what's up? We made it back home, as y'all can see. I have cut my nails off already. Do we like shorties? Hmm. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. I don't know who I thought I was for a second. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna make breakfast because I am hungry and we need to make something out of nothing. So we have some chicken and shrimp that was just in the refrigerator. We have some green onions, jalapeno, bell pepper, eggs, and hash browns. So I'm thinking we make like a hash scramble. I think that's what it's called. With sunny side up eggs. Is that ranchero eggs? I guess like a spin on ranchero eggs. Who is she? No clue, no clue. I've been seeing everybody put this um, chili crunch and we only have a little bit left. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, do a little one, two, one, two, you feel me? We don't have um, fresh veggies today, aside from the green onion and the jalapeno. So we're gonna be using the Holy Trinity, the frozen one. What is this called? I call it a Holy Trinity, it's called a season blend. But it's rock solid, like it hasn't come out of the freezer since Thanksgiving, so. I've been trying to get some off of this for like 10 minutes, literally. I'm finna just put it on some water, cause I'm not comprehending. I'm finna prepare the veggies, and then I'm put, actually let me do these first. I'm gonna put the hash browns in the, what's it called, air fryer? Yeah. I'm not really calorie conscious, but, it says 11 pieces are 140 calories. So, that's what we're gonna do. Why are we not at the point of having air fry directions on the back of stuff now? Like what? Mm -hmm. We're just gonna do fries. Where's the fries? Boom. y'all here's how breakfast turned out i wish i had like some crema but 
Yeah, this is gonna be good enough, girl. Let's taste it. Let's see. Charles! <laughs> Yo, breakfast. Your lunch is ready. Cause it's gonna be 12 o'clock. Your lunch is ready. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I can't even talk. Dang. Oh, I ended up sprinkling the rest of the green uh, onion that I cut up and the jalapenos on top. <clears throat> and this only took me 20 minutes to make. It's a long time, but it was worth it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Instead of 18 minutes, I should have put the hash browns on like 15 minutes because they're just a little too crunchy. All in all, I give myself an 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> 8.5. Ooh. Mm -mm. I just got some of that egg with the chili crunch on it. Oh. 8.9. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. It's a little bit later. I have been pretty much moving around. I got up vlogmas day one. And now I'm about to show y'all what I got in the mail. This is like my, is it serotonin? Dopamine. One of them. This is what I have been enjoying lately. Like, I have an obsession with these. I started getting them when I started going back to the gym. Mind you, I used to love these all the time. Like, I used to get these all the time. But, I just rediscovered them. And I'm so excited. So... I got, basically, I'm not gonna pick up this whole box. I'm not gonna cap. I got a whole 12 pack, it's 12, yeah. 12 pack of coconut waters. These are the mango peach versions. Oh! I'm only supposed to have, this is supposed to be a two week delivery, right? It's on a two week schedule. <laughs> Every two weeks. So I'm supposed to drink one a day, that's 12 days. You know what I'm saying? Or I can just do them when I'm going to the gym for three weeks, right? Problem is, it's too good. <laughs> it's too good. I had two yesterday. I had two yesterday. And I'm like, there's no way. I cannot run through these. <sighs> there's only been three missing. So right now, we still have... I mean, stop disrespecting me. You see my face. Um, there's only three missing, but it's the fact that I can go through these in a week, and then I'm gonna be mad because I won't have any at the gym next week. So these are my obsession, y'all. I told y'all ever since I discovered like Amazon dropping it off at the front door, baby. I'm not finna. Ugh, this is what the box looks like. I'm not gonna go and 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 stress and struggle trying to get water and all that good stuff out of the store. No, it's not happening. So also, <laughs> right behind me <laughs> is my box of water that I ordered. Y'all know I drink the AP. Ugh. Ugh. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Okay, y'all know I drink AP. And for those who don't know what AP is, because I abbreviate everything, AP is Aquapana. <laughs> Aquapana. I usually get them from Whole Foods, but Whole Foods is sold through, sold, sold, girl what? Sold through Amazon. So why go to, uh, go to Whole Foods and have to pack back water. Now granted, I love a good Whole Foods trip. Okay, I'm gonna be in Whole Foods anyway, but I don't have to get water when I go. I could just get whatever I'm getting, you know? So, got my water. Actually, I need to open this up right now because I'm gonna down one of them coconut waters if I don't. Since I've been going back to the gym, my appetite, appetite, my appetite, <laughs> My appetite and like my thirst level has skyrocketed. I mean, I'm always thirsty. I'm always hungry now. It's crazy. 
I mean, I guess it's a good thing, but still, give me a break. I need to take a break from Amazon at this point because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Oh, but I did need this. I did. I did. I did. So <laughs> I got a toiletry set for the gym, like for my gym bag, because I always, not always, but I've been using full size products. And I really like that because it's really hard to carry in the shower at the gym. And then also it's like bulky in my bag. My bag be extra heavy. So I got these. They're like an assortment of colors. I thought these were so cute. I was going to originally do pink and green, but they only had pink or green. But the green was like this blue. So I was like, ah, I'd rather just have an assortment. They also had the nudes and stuff like that, but... I'm tired. Okay, like like I'm tired of the nude. Oh, <laughs> I'm tired of the nude. Oh, these are so cute though. Oh, I love. I love. Uh, yeah. So these are like squeezy. This is the last thing that I got from Amazon. So I have been really into the gym. Like I have really been back in my gym bag, and I wanted a cute gym bag, literally, to wear or take to the gym. I use my black, it's like a black um, military type of backpack. And it's just so big and bulky. And I wanted something cute and dainty. So <laughs> I got a gym bag and it's so stinking cute. It's the perfect size. Yeah, it has a compartment. Let me show y'all. This is what it looks like. So it's pink and green, of course. It has a compartment on the side for your shoes. Is this right? Yeah, okay. So you can put your shoes through here. And then, let me zip that back up. It has a front pocket right here. Okay. It also has front pockets on this side. It has like a flap for your phone. Another front pocket. Let's see what you put in here. Anything. All right. And then you open it up. And this is why I got the toiletry. Ooh, don't be doing it. You see me. Act like you see me. And this is why I got the toiletry thing because I wanted to be able to organize all of this. It also has a pocket on the inside and it comes with a strap to carry. So yeah, it feels lightweight. It smells good. That's weird. Why does it smell good? Okay. It's not good. That's <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. I, I, I was expecting something different, child. I was expecting something different. But it smells good. This is so cute. I cannot wait to pack my gym bag. I pack my gym bag at night so that, you know, in the morning I don't have any excuses. And I don't be, like, wasting time trying to figure out what I'm wearing for the day. X, Y, and Z. It also came with another toiletry bag. It just says wash bag right here. And this is also cute. I cannot wait. I'm going to keep these in this clear bag. And then I'm going to put the rest of my items that I use. Like my um, facial. I take my face right in as fast. I take my sunscreen. And my basically skincare and stuff is going to go in here. So these are that. And they're going in here. Oh, I'm... She's in her gym era. Shout out to Jamima because Jamima was one of the people who inspired me, child. Because I was watching her vlog. Oh, it has another pocket. Oh, it has another pocket on the side. I love that. Oh, no, that's for the shoes. Okay. Oh, so many pockets. I love that. Like, and it looks girly. Like, the backpack. I'm going to show y'all my back. Actually, y'all have seen my backpack. Y'all saw it in this vlog in the beginning when we was going to the gym. It just, I, I used to love it. I did. But I'm not in that era anymore. I'm in a new era. I'm acting right now, actually. Yeah. Lastly, because my camera is going to die, Black Friday, I forgot to tell y'all that I bought some glasses. I did. These glasses originally were $30, I believe. Actually, I'm not sure. Let me not say that. I just know that they were way more expensive. To do the customizations and all that. Let's take these off. 
I know they're my babies. I love those. But they're way more expensive to do the customizations and stuff like that. And for Black Friday when I did it or when I looked, that was only $100. I, I do a lot of add-ons. I do a lot of add-ons. Ah, okay. So these are blue light. They are prescribed and they are, I did the upgrade the lens so that they're not thick. I did blue light and then it was one more other upgrade. But yeah, I wanted something new and I wanted a black pair of glasses. So I got these. Okay. Okay, let's see how they look. Let's see how they look. Mm-hmm, the prescription is right. <gasps> oh! Oh, these are so cute. Oh, these are so cute. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad they're cute. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got another pair. Now this pair I got randomly. I was only supposed to get this black pair, but I saw these and I was like, oh, stop it. And then I saw B. B had them. I forgot to send her a picture of herself, but I, I don't know. She she knows she on the page, but either way, I saw these. And they're so bright. They're so bright. They're so different. But I love them. So let's hope I love them on. I don't know my hat is sitting on top of my head looking crazy, but let's not talk about that right now. Come on, is that, is that not me? Is it, is it not me? I wanted more of a square frame and then I wanted a cat eye. Y'all know I have my super squares right here, but no, I guess this is a rectangle. I'm living. Oh, these are so cute. Like what? They're orange. And they're so orange, I feel like they are gonna glow in the dark. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna glow in the dark. I don't know which ones I like more. I love both of them. I love both of them. Look at that as the light adjusts to not seeing me. But I love them. Oh my goodness. What do y'all think? How do we feel? Which ones are your favorite? Orange or black? Orange. I feel like we have the uh, eye doctor. I always do this. Orange or black. Ah! Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel. But yeah, the camera's dying. I'm gonna see y'all later. I don't know what we're doing, but I'll see y'all later. I know I said I will talk to y'all later, but I'm about to go ahead <laughs> and. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and put all of my gels and stuff in these. And I was like, why would I not share this with y'all? So, of course, we're going to go ahead and put our shower gel. It's going to be like a, what's in my gym bag? This is my gym bag, my original gym bag. Hmm. I think I'm going to give it to my little brother so he can like travel with it. He travels more than I do. So... <laughs> I think he would enjoy this. Plus, he always asks me for my stuff. And he asked me for this backpack, so I guess I'll give it to him. What I liked about this backpack is that it had so many compartments. Like, I'm still pulling stuff out of places that I didn't even know was there. You know, as I'm wearing these glasses, I like them. I really do like these. These are my, uh, my favorite ones. But, problem is, my head is meaty. You know, my head is a little chunky. And so they're like kind of squeezing my head. And I don't know if that's something that I just have to get used to or if they're like too small. Either way, I can't sit in the back. So I got to get used to them. But still, you know, still. Okay. Actually, do I need to go and get, yes, hold on. Here is what's in my gym bag. Okay, so of course, 
I have my headphones. I got these from TikTok, but I believe they're also on Amazon. So I'll link them down below. They just look like this. I want to upgrade and give me some beats. I should have asked for that for Christmas. Why well, didn't ask for that? Because I have these and these are okay. But um, I do want to upgrade and get either some beats or the Apple headphones. I'm not really sure yet. So yeah, these are always going to stay with me. Going in the bag, I have my lifting gloves for when I take my like strength classes. That's what they're called. Strength classes. So I have lifting gloves. And then of course you gotta have some pads just in case so i have some backup pads of course i only use honey pot i don't know y'all it's something about the tingle it's something about the tingle <laughs> it just gets me every time like i told y'all i shower at the gym but if you know feeling a little a little funky you need a little <laughs> a refresh i got some of these witch hazel wipes so these go in my backpack or in my gym bag. And then these are my skin fix um, facial pads. I use these after I um, wash my face and stuff at the shower. At the I say at the shower at the gym. So in the bag. This is what I mean by I have full size. So I got the full size of my Lumi acidified body wash. This is for the lady area. Got the full size of that. I got my full Nivea in here, which I'm running low. Sad about that. Running low. And then I have my Amande oil, of course. I love this in the daytime. Love it, love it, love it. And this is the one that I'm currently using in the gym, which is Snow Angel. Hmm. I kind of want to switch it out, so we're going to switch it out. Of course, deodorant is a must. And then I have my, this is the Dial Antibacterial Soap Bar. Gotta keep that. We have our face products. So we have our Ultra Repair Facial Cream or Facial Moisturizer. And then we have our La Roche-Posay Sunscreen slash Antioxidant, yeah, Antioxidant Cream. And last but not least, we have our Facial Cleanser by First Aid Beauty. So that's everything as far as like the shower. I have a shower cap in here because you're about to take a shower. I need a shower cap. So I have a shower cap. And then I have shower slides. Do not be walking into people's showers barefoot. Please. Please. Um, a Laneige, of course, but this one has run its course. I need to put another one in there. I need to go get another one, actually, because, yeah. Hand sanitizer. Black eyed peas, if you know, you know. A pin and a lock, okay? So that's everything that's in my gym bag. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it all together. So I pretty much have these already labeled. They came with labels, so I just put them in this little, little oval right here. So this is gonna be lotion. I'm gonna fill this with Nivea. This is shower gel, shower gel. And these are gonna be the shower gels that we put in them. I have not been, I'm not gonna say I haven't been feeling clean after I get out like the gym, but there's a certain level of clean that I love. And Dr. Bronner's, <laughs> it just does it for me every time. So I'm gonna put some in my gym bag and then we're gonna switch to this one. This is passion fruit. Yeah, passion fruit daiquiri um, by Philosophy. We're gonna put those in there. Is there anything else? Anything else? Oh, and then also, I'm running low. Like, this one is pretty much empty. So, we're going to go in with this one. So, yeah. That is everything that's in my gym bag. I love this for us. Okay, I'm going to take these off. Because. I, I, you know how you it feel like I've been chewing too long. Or I, like, I've been chewing on something hard. I don't know. And then we're also going to put some of our... Dang, do I use all these? In the, don't want to leave my Monday oil here. So we're going to leave our Monday oil at home. Because this is a lot. You know what I'm saying? I be enjoying my shower. But I still be taking showers at home. You know? And I do be missing my Monday oil. Even though I have a backup. But I just haven't opened it yet. I don't want to do it. I don't want to open it yet. Not yet. 
So we're gonna put blue is Dr. Bronner's. Blue is Dr. Bronner's. I'm so excited for this. Y'all don't even understand. And I can take these with me when I'm traveling. So instead of like having to, or I could get separate ones for travel. Hmm. Either way, until I make my mind up, I can use these for traveling as well. Cause y'all know the ones I got from Walmart, all flimsy and stuff. I ain't like that. Yeah. Ah, this is so cool. This is cute. Okay. So now it's going back in this plastic bag because this is going to be the bag that I take to the shower with me when I'm at the gym. I have seriously started to really like being at the gym. Like I want to go right now, but at the same time, I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. I was talking to my best friend yesterday about like making your mind up, you know, and I know I'm a very... <laughs> I'm a very indecisive girly, okay? It's just in my nature to be indecisive. But some things you just have to make your mind up about, you know? And I found that once you make your mind up about stuff, for real, for real, nothing really can come in between you and whatever it is that's like your goal, you know? I made my mind up about nonstop November, and this is a part of the growth that I was telling y'all about or talking to y'all about. Um, I made my mind up about nonstop November and I committed to it. You know what I'm saying? And instead of looking at it as I'm com committing myself to work, it's more of like I'm committing myself to myself. If that makes sense. Because this is something that I want, you know? This is something that I love. Mm, that smells good. Mm-hmm. That's not good. Okay. But yeah, this is something that I love. So like why not commit to it? You feel me? And I love myself. I love myself more than I love anything else. So why would I not commit to myself? And so I've just been kind of finding Mm. I've been kind of <laughs> sorry. I've been kind of finding peace like in that self commitment. Does that make sense? Anything I say I'm going to do for myself, I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is once I run out of these, I'm going to just um, switch them out. Like switch out different scents or fragrances, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, commit to yourself just like you expect anybody else to commit to you. And I have found peace in that. So that's what I've been doing, girl. Yeah, we definitely gonna have to go get some more Nivea. Mm hmm This is my favorite, like, base lotion right now. Y'all know, um, I used to, like, go and buy all the EOSs and stuff like that. It ain't touching Nivea. <laughs> it ain't touching Nivea. I ain't gonna lie. This one is gonna be our feminine care. <gasps> Good product, good product, good product. Oh, because I want to be fast. That's my problem. Okay. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. I think we're good. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in here because it's already, it's already travel size. <laughs> why, why make something more complicated? It's simple. It's already travel size. And then, how am I going to put this in here? We're going to put this in the bag. Like that. Boom. That is our shower care, shower routine for the gym. Yeah. This is so cute. I, I love this. I love this. Alright, y'all. So, we now have our bag packed. Pretty much. I'm gonna put my slippers 
in the little shoe pouch area. Like that. But if I could have everything packed for Monday, you know, packed and ready to go. They had it in other colors too. They had like a purple one that I really liked. And then they had a gray one that I liked and a tan one. But I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. So, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. Thanks for packing my gym bag with me. We have moved into the kitchen. I am helping my mother prepare for my brother's baby shower. So, I was like, why not bring y'all with me? It's something that I'm doing today. So what we're doing is we're taking this big bag of gummy bears and we're putting them in thank you boxes. Let me show you. They're so cute. My mommy designed them. I just put the stickers on there and the stickers say, thanks a latte. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to Anyway, they say thanks a latte because it's like a, a coffee themed baby shower. So, we're gonna have like a coffee bar and everything like that. My mom planned all this out. And I'm just here being Santa's helper at this point. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put my gloves on. And we're gonna put some gummy bears into these boxes. But I wonder, do I tell you how many in here? Mm -hmm. 32 portions of nine. Yeah, What's 32 times nine? There's 288 gummy bears. Serious. Each box is gonna have seven gummy bears. <laughs> Cause there's 40 boxes. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. You good, OG? Our house is in disarray right now because we're preparing for a baby shower and Christmas. Christmas is gonna be at our house. So yeah. Do we just grab seven gummy bears? Let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. With twelve. Twelve? Yeah. No, we got forty boxes. Two. Four, six. Eight. Why is this funny? Oh, they can't even see. They can see you filling it up. Two, four, oh, three. Four, five. Six. Oh, that was eight. Perfectly. Okay. You want to close the boxes? I learned some new numbers in Spanish. <laughs> At home. What numbers did you learn? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What's those numbers? I forgot it already. Wow. That's crazy. Once, doce, trece, catorce. Yeah, that's what it's like. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Adrienne if you're new and if you're not new, welcome back to another motherfucking vlog. I'm tired. I, if y'all cannot tell, I am exhausted. I've been up uh, since what? Six this morning. I had to take my grandmother to get her wisdom teeth pulled. I missed my lash appointment. Oh, oh I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm really hurt by that, but missed my last appointment. It is what it is. Um, and then I have to go home after I get my grandmother's medication. I'm at Kroger's right now. I don't know if y'all can see it in the background, but I'm at Kroger. I'm about to get her something to like eat on. She doesn't have anything soft at the house. So I'm just gonna get her some pudding, some jello, some ice cream, and that'll probably be it. Cause I think she has everything else she needs. Um, at the house it started raining as i was driving here like <laughs> i'm really i'm i'm trying not to complain you know and it just is what it is it just it just is what it is so yeah um but welcome to the vlog i don't know what else we're gonna be doing today i was supposed to be going to the nail shop today to get these soaked off and to get my feet done don't know if that's happening <laughs> anymore anyway that doesn't matter but yeah, so we're about to go into Kroger right now and pick up those things for her. Oh, I'm also currently editing the vlog as well. It's um, 
processing right now at my grandmother's grandmother's house so um i'm waiting on that to be done so i can go ahead and upload it and yeah it's just been a very busy day eventful as well uh, where is jello where did probably put that jello Oh, pasta mochi? Oh my goodness. Oh, I might give me some noodles because I'm hungry too. I only had, um, I had a donut and what else did I eat? So she sent us, oh, this is all I'm supposed to do today. Oh, I gotta upload that hair video. Dang it, I almost got that. Okay. She said we need pudding. Jello bananas and banana jello. These banana jello. See, the thing about my grandmother is that she's so freaking particular, you know? So she says Swiss Miss Jello. I only see snack pack. It, or a snack pack Swiss Miss. Questions that is. Like, this the only. Is this Swiss Miss? Do they even sell this thing? That's the question. I know she don't eat cooking like that. Girl. Girl they don't even sell that no more. <laughs> they do not sell this. They don't have it. I'm gonna have to call her. Oops. Oh, I can't even understand what she's saying on the phone though. So she wants vanilla and banana pudding. She wants jello, strawberry, strawberry. They don't have banana. I don't, I don't know why she keep putting banana on stuff. They don't have banana. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> oh, I'm full. Do I gotta go like Walmart or something? I'm not going to Walmart. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to call in reinforcement. I'm gonna have to call my mama. I mean, unless you want me to get like the the ones you gotta make, you know. But she said cups. Hello, honey, help. You know your mother is particular. So she said she wants Swiss Miss gel. I mean, pudding. They don't, they don't got Swiss Miss pudding cups. And then she she said she wants strawberry banana Jello in the cups. They don't make strawberry banana no more. They got strawberry orange or strawberry. We're on hold. She has to call her brothers. My uncle. I don't know why I just said her brother. Okay. They have chocolate, vanilla, Swiss, and Jello, like the actual Jello brand. Okay. All right. We're looking up. We're looking up. Strawberry. good one now gold lid this is a random request now so I'm picking up my grandmother's medication but I have ice cream in the car and I don't believe it'll open again until what two is it weird if I put the ice cream in the freezer yes and no yes it's and not weird but it is weird because it's like contamination and stuff because uh, you're not there and put it mm -hmm. on there so put it on okay I'm in a Stuck between a rock and a hard place at this moment. Do y'all think ice cream will melt? It's been out of the refrigerator for like five minutes. We just left Kroger. Oh, I'm oh. You you hang on to. All right, so problem. <laughs> I don't know if y'all even heard that, but I asked obviously the manager that I didn't know was the manager, but she, she was really pretty. She was really well dressed as well. Um, <laughs> I asked her if I could put the ice cream in the freezer in Walgreens. She said no, obviously. I mean, it makes sense, 
you know but i was like damn i was really hoping she would look out you know but she was like it's like cross cross contamination because she don't know where the ice cream came from and it makes sense it does she was basically like yeah no nah, we can't do that you know and, and it, it's she's not wrong i can't be mad at it you know what i'm saying i was just like damn okay so i'm It's just gonna have to be put in the freezer. It's just gonna have to be put in the freezer. Also, shout out to Anna and Tori. Met them at Kroger. They checked me out, and I was so embarrassed. First of all, my mind was moving 97 million thousand miles an hour, and what is it called? Overwhelmed. Like I was. It was too much going on at one time for me. Like. I'm trying to make sure I get the right stuff and all this good stuff. Tori and Anna, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> if I came off weird or rude, but I was just like, I'm embarrassed. Like, <laughs> I was embarrassed because I couldn't, I couldn't think of my my YouTube channel name. I couldn't think of my YouTube channel name. And then I was like, you know what? Just take a picture. <laughs> I was like, just take a picture of my phone. I have a whole QR code that she could have scanned. She could have followed me on Instagram and everything. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm in Barras. This, 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 I'm in Barras because my hands are ashy. I don't wash my hand, hands 97 million times today. And my grandmother doesn't have any lotion in her car. So <laughs> I'm sitting here holding the phone, realizing, oh, it's going to be an ashy. <laughs> I'm overstimulated. That's the word. Overstimulated. Mm -hmm. It's a lot going on. Y'all know I don't like being ashy. I don't like being ashy. I don't like having dry lips. And I don't like not knowing what I'm saying, you know? And she was so pretty. So pretty. She had her locks going. Like, she had the ant eh, ant. Eh. And I couldn't even think to tell her. Like, I'm looking at her like, wow, she's beautiful. But in my head, in my mind, I'm trying to figure out my YouTube channel name because she want to know. And I can't think to say, oh, you're gorgeous. You know? Sorry, Tori. Sorry, Anna. <laughs> that was overstimulated. <laughs> because now, I'm thinking, oh, if y'all didn't see, I had called the pharmacy while I was in there, while I was in Kroger, to see, like, if they were open or if I could, like, expedite the process of me getting her, medi getting her medications. And that's when I learned that it closes, it's closed until two. And it was one, uh, it was 141 at that time. So all of this is processing through my head and I look dumb. This is too much. This is too much. Nail still not done. This is killing me. <laughs> the, knowing that this is in somebody's phone is taking me out. <laughs> it, it's taking me out. Funny er thing is I've seen all of the little older women that I be talking to in the gym because I told you I go to the gym with old people. They was in croak. Just shopping around. I said, oh, this is where y'all come after the gym. <sighs> Stop being weird. That's my problem. And now I'm sitting here. I I'm, I'm literally sitting here. Outside of... What if they tell me her medication isn't done? Don't think that. Don't think that that's negative that's very negative I can't think that the medication is gonna be ready it's gonna be ready it's gonna be ready <laughs> hello how are you I'm picking up for um, okay okay <laughs> okay just turn the music off okay the one medication that we need the most which is the narcotic 
is the only pill that they don't have ready and she's currently in pain and so that's the one pill that literally I left the house to get I'm just gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop her off her food said it'll be ready in 30 minutes I we sat there we, we, we sat there and waited I, you know what I need y'all's camera yeah no it ain't a question not even okay hey y'all it is a whole lot later I just left my grandmother's house oh can y'all even see me I just left my grandmother's house as y'all can probably hear it is raining cats and dogs and I don't even know if y'all can really see me better um it's, it's not better actually but it's it's gonna do for now but yeah it's raining cats and dogs but I'm hungry I haven't ate oh my goodness oh who's calling me what was I saying yeah yeah y'all know how earlier I was having a moment right and granted very warranted very warranted because it was a lot going on you know I ended up getting my grandmother's medicine um, the ice cream melted a little bit but it didn't melt completely which I am grateful for but this whole day has told me and taught me one thing and one thing only and that is to trust your gut trust your gut I booked my appointment with Candace on Monday and when I booked the appointment I was like oh it was it was something in me that was like something gonna go wrong <laughs> ah! something gonna go wrong you're not gonna make it to this appointment and I thought it was gonna be me you know I thought it was gonna be me because I had booked it for 9 30 in the morning originally um and so I was like no I'm definitely gonna make it to my lash appointment like what the heck you know what I'm saying like granted and and, and bruh like it's crazy because Candace books are always open right they always open on the weekends this weekend was the only weekend that my girl's books were closed like she don't have no appointments available until Monday and I really wanted my lashes and my brows done for Sunday that's not important but hold on yeah point is my gut was telling me don't do it but I was telling my gut we gonna make it regardless you know and so <laughs> I booked the appointment and then on well I think it was like Wednesday Wednesday I had to take my grandmother to the um, dentist and my gut was like you need to reschedule your appointment or like cancel your appointment and I really didn't want to because I really wanted my lashes done <laughs> I did I wanted my lashes done you know but but this is all a lesson this is all a lesson and I'm not complaining about like helping my grandmother that's not an issue at all the issue is I should have listened to my gut that's the issue you know so on Wednesday I rebooked my appointment from 9 to 11 or 9 to 11 30 because the people at the doctor's office or at the the dental surgery place I know my freaking windshield wipers are probably annoying me in this clip right now but that's fine um, the dentist office or the dentist surgeon the dentist surgeon said that she will only take an hour it will only be an hour for her to get in and get out and so I was like okay I'm gonna drop her like I'm gonna go to the dentist with her get her stuff done her appointment was supposed to be at 8 a.m. go to the dentist with her get her stuff done we leaving at 9 I'm on the road because I live like 40 minutes from where Candace like works like her shop or whatever get on the road I'm gonna be there early, you know. And then, <laughs> and then the appointment got rescheduled to eight thirty. And then we got there at eight thirty, and they didn't even take my grandmother to the back to start her X-ray processes and all that good stuff. 
until 10 30. And, and in the back of my head because now I gotta cancel and I gotta pay my fee. <laughs> and in the back of my head I was just like you should have just listened to yourself the first time and rebook the appointment for another day or or just cancel the appointment you know what I'm saying and then when we were in Kroger I'm thinking oh it'll be nice to get my grandmother mind you in my head had a schedule lined out I'm like okay the doctor said at this at this point the appointment is canceled the doctor said oh you know um the medication will be ready in two hours that was at 10 uh, that was at 11 30 1 30 right 11 30 12 30 1 30 medicine's ready that's what i'm thinking okay so i go to kroger at what time i go to kroger at one o'clock or around that area i'm not really sure i told y'all what time it was go to kroger i'm gonna have to order what do i what do i even want i want the blackened chicken strips do they come in spicy i can help hi do y'all have the um blackened tenders I think I'll be about like a four or five minute wait. That's fine. Y do y'all do like spicy ones? No, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Point of the story. Moral of the entire... Oh, no, no. I was telling y'all about... Yeah. I was telling y'all about um, Kroger. And Kroger, I'm thinking, oh, it'll be nice. I know she loves ice cream. She can eat ice cream right now. I'm going to get her some ice cream. But in the back of my head, it was like, she's not going to eat the ice cream. She don't want no ice cream. Don't get her no ice cream. What did I do? What did I do? I got her some ice cream. And then what happened? I ended up going to the freaking pharmacy and her medication was ready. And so, all that could have been avoided had I just not got the ice cream. <laughs> it's that simple, you know? It's really not that deep. So from now on, I'm really going to lean into trusting my gut and my first instinct. Because at this point, when I do follow it, things go right. When I don't, when I try to do what I want instead of what my mind is telling me to do, things go left. That what I learned today and I hope he give me some black and wrench okay also you know how I be needing like a hard reset right I can't take a nap I don't know what it was I don't know what it is this whole day I've been exhausted when I got home with that medicine I tried to edit the well I did edit the vlog I did get the vlog up but I was exhausted trying to do so. So I quit in the middle of the vlog. I took a break. And I tried to take a nap. Baby girl couldn't take a nap. The nap didn't want me. I wanted the nap. The nap didn't want me. Excuse me. We don't have no macaroni. No macaroni? Nah. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll give you whatever else. You want a red, red beans, beans and, and rice? Or you want two red beans? Whatever you Red beans and mashed potatoes. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too, I know that's right. You know what? Thank you, Lord. That was that. That just that just made my day. My man was nice. He was kind. He was efficient. <laughs> he was efficient. Oh, going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Hey y'all, what's up? It's the next day. I completely forgot to close out the vlog last night. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next one.